the economy is unstable, gold is solid, hitting its highest values in years. And while some are hoping to make quick cash, scammers are trying to strike it rich right at your expense. Melissa Paul investigates the rush of fool's gold hitting the Treasure Valley. Gold and silver, highest price in 25 years. It's these type of claims. $47. Get out of town. Seriously. Look at that. For, for just a little bag. And reaction like this, linked with a tough economy that has people clamoring to make a mint on old gold jewelry and other items. Some people are striking it rich. At this gold party, one woman walked away with a check for $1,700. Or it might be a load of groceries for somebody, you know, if, especially if you're a single mom, you're recently divorced, you have some jewelry, maybe your old wedding band. Who knows, times are tough. Tough times that call for desperate measures. We had a lady come in and sold us some stuff that her, her mother had passed away. It's like the family heirloom stuff. She didn't want to sell it. She didn't have a choice, she had to. It's during these tough times, experts say scam artists are looking to cash in. Advertisements promising big money for dusty old rings and coins are popping up in Treasure Valley newspapers. We're hearing a lot from folks who are getting really sucked into this hurry now, sell your gold immediately uh, because we're going to give you the best price. The Better Business Bureau says those who do sell don't get everything they are promised or even worse. We received a call from a woman who said she'd visited one of these gold buyers. She weighed her gold ahead of time, weighed three and a half pounds. She thought she sold one piece, got home, reweighed the gold, found that it was a pound less than when she walked in. So it's her perception that they siphoned off more than they paid. That woman's check from Duke Coins, a measly $5.25. Rely on our fine reputation for paying high prices as others have for years. This bold print from Ashworth Estates caught the attention of the BBB. They investigated this reputation and found a warning. There, there is no history, there is no reputation. They won't respond to our requests as the Better Business Bureau when we go and say, tell us more about yourself. Gold buyers like this usually hit the road in a matter of days and with no contact information on these pages, if a problem arises, sellers are out of luck. The Better Business Bureau also warns people to be careful of ads they see on TV. Cash for Gold received a grade of C- minus from the Better Business Bureau, racking up almost three 300 complaints across the nation. The Better Business Bureau says there are serious problems with packages being sent to cash for gold not being received. It's for this reason that experts say you need to use extra caution and make sure that you insure your jewelry to the value that you think it's worth. And also consider a delivery confirmation. The rest of these complaints include not getting their jewelry back. In some cases, people claim they've contacted the company within the 10-day time frame only to be told their belongings have been melted. And other sellers say the check they received was no good. It arrived in the mail after the time allowed to cash it. When you study this company's website, you will also find the lack of a Better Business Bureau accreditation. But it's this type of research that experts say needs to be done before you decide to start pining for cash in your jewelry box. Box. Three things that we really want folks to key in on. Number one, never feel pressured into selling your jewelry. Secondly, research the company that is offering to buy. And third, have an outside appraisal. Know the value of your gold before selling it to someone else. Because in this market, you never know who's looking to prospect off of you. Melissa Paul, today's Channel 6 News. Mm. Today's Channel 6 News called Duke's Coins, who says the company is now a member of the BBB in Phoenix and has a clean record. The BBB down there, though, doesn't have enough information to call the company actually an accredited business. And just like the Better Business Bureau, we could not find any contact information to reach Ashworth Estates as far as cash for gold. We tried calling the phone number on their website, but the number was not in service.